Semagically AI, Episode 30, The Long Legacy of Doctor Who. Every doctor at Midhampton Hospital was pretty ordinary, but one doctor appeared to have worked there since the town medical practice was founded, and that was Dr. Julius Who. It appeared as though he'd been there for two centuries, which was nothing to scoff at, considering some of the town's citizens were literal immortals. Julius Who moved to Midhampton in 1824, the year after the town was founded. He was a newly qualified medical examiner who was looking to set up his own medical practice. He was welcomed very warmly by all the residents of the town and its founder Midge Hampton who lived in a mansion in the heart of the town. When she learned of his medical degree, she granted him permission to start his own medical center knowing how desperately her town needed a doctor. So, he set up a small medical center in a building just big enough for him to practice his profession as the town doctor. It had a welcoming little reception area where his receptionist Phyllis Moore began working, a small waiting room where patients would wait for their appointments, his office complete with a desk, chair and couch for his patients, an office for his assistant nurse Cynthia Wells, and a small ward just big enough to house two patients at a time. He was an exceptional doctor, even for a newly qualified doctor, as he diagnosed every patient correctly and helped them get better. He was only 26 at the time he started his medical practice. As the years went by, he treated many patients and cured so many illnesses and injuries. By 1864, after 40 years, his medical center had grown from a small town practice to a full hospital, complete with a full staff of doctors and nurses. All were new, as all of his old staff were now retired. Some of them had even passed on. But he, at 66 years old, was the owner of Midhampton Hospital, as well as its governor. Over the next 160 years, he ran his hospital from strength to strength, modernizing it along the way to keep up with the ever-changing world. He couldn't be happier than that. In 2004, he was awarded the Exceedingly Long Service Award for his many years of service to the medical profession. By this time, he was 126, and he started his practice when he was 26 years old back in 1824. People thought he was likely to end as a patient in his own hospital. And now, here we are, in 2024. This is him now, an extremely old and frail man, who is now 226 years old, retired after two centuries of hard work and dedication. He is now a patient in his own hospital after being admitted here with complications of extreme old age. He's already a medical marvel having been alive for over two centuries and worked for over two-thirds of his life. Just a decade ago, he was recognized as the world's oldest man to ever live at 216. The machine flatlines, and Julius Who has just died at 226 years old. We wholeheartedly bid farewell to a fantastic doctor and a marvelous man. This is his epitaph. Here lies Julius Who. Beloved doctor and dear friend, born November 5, 1798, died November 9, 2024, aged 226 years. You will be fondly remembered. Rest in peace.